Good morning internet. It is uh, 7.31 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. As you can hear, I completely lost my voice. It sounds like I went clubbing last night, which I didn't, <laughs> unfortunately. I think it's because of the cold. I've been having a cold for a couple of days and today my voice is just gone. So I think it's gonna be a nice and quiet day <laughs> without much talking. Um, but first let me show you my breakfast because 7.30 there was a knock on the door and I got my breakfast delivered in my room. Look at that. So I think by far this is the nicest breakfast I've had since I arrived in Argentina. <laughs> Very nice. Don't talk too much. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, I hope my voice will come back during the day sometime. Um, but let me show you on the map where I'm gonna go today. So I am now here in Puerto Piramides, uh, here on this point of uh, Peninsula Valdez. And today I'm gonna ride down first to Treleu. Then I'm gonna go a little bit on this road to visit a small town which is over here, which is called Gaiman. And then I'm gonna go down here to a place called Punta Tumbo. And then I continue on a dirt road further down. It's not on the map, uh, but it's called uh, El Cabo and it's somewhere around here, I, th I believe. So all in all, it's a pretty long day. Uh, it's about 400 kilometers and quite a bit is dirt road. And where I'm gonna go today, um, there is no telephone reception, there is no Wi-Fi, there's no internet, there's nothing. So I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully when I'm there, my voice comes back <laughs> because this is a little bit annoying. I'm really sorry about it, but yeah. Uh, other than that, I feel absolutely fine. It's just, uh, I woke up and I was like, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I have no voice, but anyway. First, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. Adios, gracias por todo. The owner, uh, Auntie Alicia, gave me uh, something for my throat. <laughs> so hopefully that will help my voice a little bit. So the first stretch of today is 172 kilometers. And that's mostly backtracking back uh, towards Puerto Madryn. And then I continue to uh, Treleu. So that is probably the least interesting part uh, of today's ride. Because it's uh, all paved and uh, mostly on Ruta 3. But after that uh, things uh, will become more interesting, I think. This is uh, Gaiman. It's actually a very pretty place. Suddenly there's trees. I haven't seen trees, like so many trees in <laughs> quite some time. Looks like a bit of a valley. So this town, Gaiman, is actually a Welsh settlement. So there are several uh, Welsh settlements around uh, Patagonia. Tai Gwyn Tegales. Casa de Te. Let's see if it's open. I don't know if it's open. Casa de Tortas. Ooh, let's see. Oh, it smells so good here. Hola! <laughs> Hola! Bien, gracias. ¿O puede decirme por qué aquí hay gente de Wales? Wales. Sí, sí. Es una colonia, Gales. ¿Y todavía la gente habla Gaelic? La gente nativa, un 80% habla Gales. 80%. Y en, en la escuela también... Hay una escuela secundaria, que es la escuela más antigua de Chubut, que se habla galés. 
y hay una escuela, un jardín y una escuela primaria Ajá. que habla galés, Ajá. que es bilingüe. Y entonces, ¿estas tortas son originalmente de...? de... Estas tortas son originarias de la colonia galesa de acá. Ah, ok, entonces uh, me gustaría comprar pequeño pieza de este. Arándanos. ¿Qué es? Arándanos. Okay. Es una fruta fina. Ok, muy Típico bien. de... Ok, sí, por favor. The ladies in the shop were so nice. I don't know, maybe it's my voice that they felt sorry for me. But um, I, I wanted to buy a, a cake, but then they didn't want to accept my money. They said, no, no, it's a gift for your travel. Because they asked me, where are you going and all of that. So I told them uh, about my trip. And then they said, no, no, here you have the cake. So it was <laughs> super nice. Um, anyway, it's a little bit early. It's quarter to 11. So I'm going to keep the cake with me and then uh, eat it uh, kind of as a lunch. <laughs> Why not? Life's a party. Uh, I'm gonna go now to my next stop, but first I'm gonna get some petrol in Trileo because that is the last time I can get petrol from, for quite some time. So I need to make sure that I'm fully filled up there. So let's go. So that's quite uh, quite uh, interesting to see this place. Uh, which is basically uh, originally a Welsh uh, settlement and they have also a lot of traditional Welsh tea houses around here and I was hoping to go to one of those but they only open at uh, 2 p.m. so that's in three hours from now so that's a bit too long to uh, wait that out so unfortunately no uh, Welsh tea but at least I got some Welsh cake <laughs> so I am looking forward Uh, to having that as a lunch today. everywhere um, you'll see them pretty soon I think uh, the ranger just told me that uh, yeah this is the time of the year when they are sitting on the eggs so that's why there's more penguins actually now on land than on the beach so also here there was a big sign saying no drones allowed so uh, not flying any drones and scaring any penguins look how close it is I don't see an egg but Oh, there's a big one here. Hello. Hello, guy. But to me, it's just amazing how far these little guys have to walk to their nest because the water is all the way over there. <laughs> They have such tiny feet. Oh, these poor penguins. That, it, that must be like a marathon for them to just walk to the beach and try to uh, get some food and then come back all the way to the nest. You see them walking down there? <laughs> Look at them go! And there's some more sitting over there and then some a bit further away. Amazing ride! You can just see them coming out of the sea and just walking here over the beach and then all the way down there to their nests. It's amazing! 
I kind of imagined that it would be a big colony with thousands of penguins sitting all together. And that's not the case, but this, they're living on such a widespread area because I think I walked all the way over there and now I'm going back. So I think it's about 20, 30 minute walk and just all along there are nests and there are penguins, they're just everywhere. And they come really close to the, to the fence, they walk on the trails. I guess they're just uh, used to humans around here. It's getting a little bit hot with the sun out and me walking. Uh, so now I'm gonna go back to Dono and then I'm gonna ride to my destination of today where I'm gonna spend the night, uh, which is a place called El Cabo Raso. I, I think it's all dirt road from here to get there. So it's still, uh, still quite a way, so let's go. Cabo Rosso. Uh, I have to go that way, I think. Hello, hello, hello. It's okay. Yeah, good. Good boy. Good boy. I am going to stay the night here, I think. Hola! <laughs> Hola, buenos! <laughs> sí, muy bien. Para acá. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Oh, I wish my voice would come back. <laughs> I can barely speak. Ah, oh, in this place, huh? Wow. This is amazing. <gasps> I think I'll just put Steno here. Okay, come to the say hi. Hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. Yeah. <laughs> sí, un poco. <laughs> Ay. 
¡Qué lugar! ¡Increíble! Ay, gracias. Uh, me perdió mi voz. Sí, vi, se nota. No sé qué pasó. Hola, Eliane. Hola. Lorelí. 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 Bueno, bienvenida. Ah, gracias. Ah, bueno, y un buen día también. Sí. sí. Es... Ah, Buenísimo. Qué es... buena tu moto. Gracias. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es? ¿Qué marca? Es Royal Enfield. Ah, no la conozco. Es una marca de India. Ah, sí. Qué bien, ¿eh? ¿Y de dónde venís? Hoy o no, no. Holanda. Desde Holanda. ¿Sos holandesa? Sí. Ah. <risa> uh, ¿Y en la primera vez en Argentina? No, no, no. no. Eh, hace dos años estaba trabajando en Buenos Aires. ¿Ah, sí? Sí. Eh, sí, voy a... des, sí, des. sí. Podés dejar tranquila porque no pasa nada. Sí, sí. Nosotros, claro. ¿Querés tomar un té? Sí, por favor. Sí. Gracias. Check out my room. Isn't this amazing? Look at it. And I'm here. This is definitely, I think, the best, nicest room I had, I think, in all of my travels. Look, this is my view from my window. And then I have a private patio over here. Um, check this out. Look at this place. Oh, this is amazing, amazing, amazing. I love today. It was such an amazing day after I left the penguins. That road was incredible. I loved riding it. It was just the best. I was enjoying it so much. Um, at some point, I couldn't fly the drone anymore at the open space because the wind was way too strong. But just the views were just amazing. And then now I'm staying here in this place and there's literally, there's nothing here. There's no village or anything like that. Um, there is electricity uh, through solar panels uh, and they have some uh, wind uh, energy or something like that. So the owners have been living here for 12 years and yeah, they're just living here by themselves. So yeah, I'm gonna stay here tomorrow as well. Uh, and then have a look sometimes there are whales here yeah uh, this seems to be a really nice place to just relax a little bit it's just yeah incredible day i loved it loved it loved it so uh, even though my voice was a bit of a problem today i hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then i'll see you in the next video